Well, to today we have the Bhagavad Gita. This is the um, Norton Critical Edition, translated by Gavin Flood and Charles Martin, and edited by Gavin Flood. Um, so what I've been doing, I've been uh, going through various Bhagavad Gita translations and giving you a little taste of which ones, uh, or just giving you a little taste of. Them. That way, you know if. Maybe you can't get to a bookstore and you can't, you know, go read through them and see which ones you like or whatever. Maybe the bookstore doesn't have any or doesn't have a wide variety. Give you a little idea of what you're getting yourself into if you order some of these. Because, I mean, this stuff, this isn't the easiest read ever. Um, and it's so chuck full of goodness that... Um, It'd be nice, you know, it might it might be nice to have some tastes of various translations. Of course, this being the Norton Critical Edition. Um, it's got a it's actually got a pretty brief introduction, but it, I mean half this book is um commentaries and essays and things that I mean a, maybe a scholar would read, but I, I haven't actually really dipped into it at all. I just don't really care. Because I don't really care what um, uh, John L. Brockington has to say about it. Just, sorry, I don't. However, this is a really good translation um, for a, a nice modern translation. And I guess it would technically be in prose, even though it's kind of laid out in verse. Um, yeah, I know you can't read it, but you, like each one of these kind of a sentence or a couple of sentences. So it, it, it's very readable. Um, so since this is a new, uh, a newer translation and I'm sure has all sorts of copyright laws and things to go with it. I'm just going to read a little, um, I'm just going to read just a few passages that way you can hear it. And then you can go, if you would like to check out my other Bhagavad Gita videos, there's a playlist down below. And as always, if you like this sort of thing, hit that subscribe button. If you don't like this sort of thing, still hit the subscribe button. Because I have all sorts of different book content on this channel. It's not just Hinduism, Bhagavad Gita, whatever. Uh, just a whole bunch of stuff on this channel. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you don't. I don't care either way. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Let's just say that. And I have a affiliate link down below where if you use it to buy the Bhagavad Gita, the Norton Critical, which I, I'm bad at this. I didn't actually look to see if uh, bookshop.org carries it or not. I assume they do. I don't know why they wouldn't. But if you use it to buy this book or any other book, I guess small commission, you get out some book and no extra cost to yourself. So it's a win-win. It's a win-win. So I'm just going to read the first uh, few passages here in chapter 10. Like I said, uh, go check out the other ones we've done. Uh, I should add, I've done the Sir Edward Arnold, the 14th uh, translation, Mahatma Gandhi's translation, and Hari Chitans. Kitans? I'm not sure really how to pronounce the last name. Sorry if you ever see this, Hari. All right. So the blessed Lord said... Once more, O mighty warrior, hear from my lips my matchless word, which I address to you, beloved, from my care for your well-being. Neither the multitude of gods nor great seers know my origin, for I am the true source of all gods and the great seer in any case. Who knows me as the world's great lord, birthless and without beginning, is undiluted among men and liberated from all ills. Intelligence, knowledge, clarity, forbearance, truth, and self-restraint, tranquility, joy, sorrow, being, non-being, fear, and courage, non-violence, equanimity, austerity, contentedness, gifts, honor, shame, the diverse states of being spring from me only. So uh, let's just uh, we'll skip ahead just a little bit here. Um, We'll just kind of do where he's saying all the things uh, he is. Um, of horses, the one Indra rides, born of nectar of elephants, Indra's lordly Aravata, 
of mortal men I am the king of weapons I am the thunderbolt of cows the wish fulling, fulfilling cow I am Kandarpa god of love of serpents I am Fasuki of Naga snakes I am Avanta of water creatures I am Varuna of ancestors I am Ar Ariyaman of punishers I am Yama so you know of, of animals he is the lion of the rivers he is the Ganges so it's just like a nice translation that is just in modern English one of my favorites one of the one of the first translations I got that I said okay I can read this um, and it's just an awesome awesome book so if you are wanting to see what kind of goodness is in this book don't have to be Hinduism, you don't have to be Iskan, you don't have to be a Hari, uh, I guess, uh, you don't, you don't have to believe in Krishna, you don't have to believe in it, you don't have to believe in it, it, it you could read it as an epic fantasy, honestly, it, it, and you'll be very happy, like, all y'all out there that read epic fantasies, check out the Bhagavad Gita, check out the Mahabharata, you're gonna love it, love it, especially the Mahabharata, I mean, you got people being born a fish, You've got uh, uh, um, uh, the the uh, the nagas. You know, you got your water demon. You got you got gods uh, impregnating various people and or things. I mean, it's just it's awesome. It's a great book. So, I think that's it for this one, peeps. Uh, the Bhagavad Gita, uh, the Norton Critical Edition, translated by Gavin Flood and Charles Martin, is a very good edition. Um, I highly suggest this is a if you're wanting to do the read the Bhagavad Gita. This is a good one to get. So that's it for this one, peeps. Comment down below. Which is your favorite of the Bhagavad Gita? Because you know maybe I haven't read it yet, and maybe I should go check that one out and do one of these uh, one of these little videos. Cheers, peeps.